always use the mirror tool, but when I do, I use Mr. Ponder's videos. This video will help you do a mirror tool and get you a shape that looks like this. So the directions are right here on 5.5a. Um, unfortunately, the directions don't give you every measurement that you need, so this video will help you out. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is start a standard IPT. And I'm going to create a 2D sketch on the um, YZ plane. I'm just going to use the line tool and draw what looks like a backwards L. Make sure that green dot shows up so it attaches. Now my right side there is not very perpendicular. So I'm going to click on the perpendicular constraint. Make that perpendicular. And start setting some dimensions. So this one right here is 0.5. This dimension here is 0.75. This dimension is also 0.5 and this top one is also 0.5 <clears throat> so then we are told to finish the sketch and extrude it 0.75 and click OK and here's what the directions don't tell you but you should do the whole first so I'm going to create a sketch right on top of there and project the geometry so that I can put a point right in the middle. If I can find that, that midpoint turns green, bring it over until, there we go, see we've got a perfect square. So that'll point to the uh, center center point and then let's make that point a hole with the diameter 0.375 going the entire way through and then let's fillet those corners 0.25 so I'm gonna click on one corner click on the next check it off Alright, now I want to, uh, I'm sorry, I want to mirror the other side. So, the best way to do this is just to hit mirror and do that. And if you see, I'll mirror it, but it doesn't bring everything over. So, I'm going to undo that. Make sure when you hit mirror that you click your fillets and your holes and then decide on the mirror plane and go ahead and we'll click on that hit OK and you're all done so that is the mirror assignment please save it as your your mirror assignment plus your initials alright thanks